Boy, the sign of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, Libra. For the present time, we have the Ten of Wands and the Hermit. Now, this Ten of Wands, you may still, you may start to feel as though you're carrying some type of heavy burden coming up in April. You may need to look hard and see if this well, take a, take a good hard look at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. I say this because if you look carefully, you'll probably find that part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally, it probably belongs to someone else. So it will be important for you to pace yourself in the month of April. Don't try to take on too much. As you can see, this man in the card, he's walking forward, but he's about to fall backwards. So, you might feel like you're undergoing some type of, some sort of rough time. And if you're in a relationship, it probably has nothing to do with the relationship, but it needs your support. So this Ten of Wands, it's paired with the Hermit. Now with this card, it could be a spiritual card sometimes and has something to do with institutions and large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. Just like the Strength card, you may even more so be in the frame of mind that you want some time alone coming up in April. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. Also this card, this Herman card, Hermit card, this could be about trying to do hard, the right thing. So if this is the case, you find if you find this is the case, just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing the right thing for you personally, not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So, for the present time, you might feel like you you have some, you're going through some difficult a difficult time. Um, you might feel like you got some type of burden on your shoulders, maybe a heavy load. Um, and you want to spend some time alone and you probably feel like you need to do this to clear your mind and to possibly get rid of some baggage with this hermit card so something's weighing you down for the present time and you really you probably just don't want to be bothered that's what I'm showing so let's take a look at your person how they see you. They see you as his Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor. Now this Knight of Pentacles, it uh, points to messages. It could be regarding money and finance, but it could go either way. You'll probably receive some type of news that you've, you've been waiting on. And this news is going to be really good news. This night, it tells you to pay attention to the mundane, normal parts of your lives. You probably heard the saying before, if you take care of the little things, the big things will fall into place. Well, the night, it asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs. And it can be a very groundling influence. When it comes to love and relationships, it's about responsibility and duty. That's a part of any love relationship. So, there, your person is seeing you like this Knight of Pentacles. Uh, they see you as very stable. They see you coming in slow and steady. You're civil. And um, you, bring, you bring good news to this. You're good news for, this, for them. They see you as good news. And they also see you as the Emperor, though. Now, this emperor is an interesting character. Well, he looks interesting. 
if you can see the picture. And he's he's an interesting character. Um, just to explain him, the emperor is about domination over the mind, over the heart, and sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, some people say you should welcome this, and that's what you must think about when this card appears in your reading. Meaning, when hard choices must be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. This emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. And I say this because the emperor, he doesn't use his heart. He uses his head. Okay. And uh, for a lot of people, it brings assertiveness and confidence and self-control. So this is how your person is seeing you also, like this emperor. They see you as a leader, boss, arrogant. You don't want to come across as being vulnerable. So you, they see you as not really using your heart in this connection. But you you bring good you bring good to this connection. They see you as stable with this Knight of Pentacles. Very stable. Stable and civil, but you don't open up your heart. You just don't want to show your vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable. You just don't want to show them that you're vulnerable. So that's how they see you, Libras. Let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as a Six of Cups and the Moon card. Now the Six of Cups is a card about nostalgia. It's about looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. It's important, to, it's important not to spend too much time thinking about the good old days. We all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So... This is how you're seeing your person as the Six of Cups. And you also see them as a Moon card. Now the Moon card is about feeling psychic and intuitive. It's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions. Even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Although it's not necessary to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for, for you to realize that all is probably not what it seems when you get the moon card. If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So it's about, it's about trying to stay patient. So you see them as, like I said, the Six of Cups. You see them as uh, happy, there's a lot of, you see this connection is happy, there's a lot of uh, great memories with, with your person, and you feel familiar, you see them as being familiar, like, like you're very comfortable with them, like you've known them in a past life before, maybe, so you feel... You might also feel like uh, this. you see them as wanting to uh, refocus this connection towards the future. Maybe sometimes you see them being stuck in the past. But you do see them as very uh, comfortable and familiar. 
because it's with the moon card, uh, you see them as possibly not saying how they feel. They sometimes wear a mask. Yeah, because the moon card is about deception. So there could be uh, maybe some trust issues there. You see them with some trust issues. Or, like I said, mistrusting. Or you could see them as being deceptive. They hide their feelings. That's how you see them. So, let's take a look at why it's all happening. Now, it's happening due to the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Now, the Nine of Swords, it's about guarding against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a good look at whether or not any of that's under your own power or control and try to lessen it, or if things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety, try to lessen it. If this is the case, take a good look at it and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. There's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger than it is. So you might want to try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things. And just know that's where the beauty is. So this is one of the reasons why it's happening. There is some hardship um, going on with you or your person. Some nightmares, anxiety, some grief, possible depression. Now, something could be troubling you or your person in regards to the relationship. Someone's feeling um, that something's probably not right. Uh, and we did talk about mistrust there with the moon card. So it could be causing, causing some, some worries and sleepless nights. And also why it's happening is this Ace of Cups, which is a very powerful, positive card in the tarot. It's about love, happiness, and affection. It's about new beginnings, and although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things are looking up. People will respond to you with love, happiness, goodwill, more than usually at this time. And you should be feeling really good about life in general. It's a great time to make friends when you get this Ace of Cups. When it comes to love and relationships, this Ace of Cups, or an existing relationship, it's going to take a turn for the better when you get the Ace of Cups. A deeper level of understanding or commitment, or almost any important aspect of a relationship. It's going to feel like a new, encouraging start. So, this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Uh, you or your person they have a really deep there's a real deep attraction there with this Ace of Cups uh, there's someone gets a lot of warmth maybe the both of you there's a lot of warmth warmth in this connection with this Ace of Cups and a lot of times it feels like a new beginning or it could be turning into a new beginning, start to feel that way. This Ace of Cups is very powerful because there's a deep attraction there. So it could turn around into, like I said, uh, the next level. Uh, it could turn into a deeper level of understanding. Uh, it could turn into a commitment. It could go up to, um, like I said, the next level with this uh, Ace of Cups because there's a lot of warmth and like I said deep attraction in this connection with this Ace of Cups but there is some hardship and I'm picking up it's probably 
because we got this emperor here for how they see you someone doesn't open up well they see you as not opening up and you, you don't uh, um, express yourself and it causes you to see them as um, being deceptive or wearing a mask and it's causing mistrust but then like I said there's a deep attraction here with this ace of cups and then we've got this six of cups up there we talked about how you see them um, they're very comfortable with you and you feel very familiar like they've probably known you before with the Six of Cups. So, that's about all I see. There was a just some type of heavy burden in the present time, but it looks like you go into hermit mode, and that might help you out a lot, spending some time alone. But there, like I said, for why it's happening, this Ace of Cups is beautiful, um, but this mistrust and not opening up, that can be a problem when someone just doesn't want to appear or come across as being vulnerable and it's making someone think that uh, they cannot trust this person. And then there's anxiety and fear, and fear, and fear.